profit you make selling investments or capital gains is taxed in Canada. And that is about to change. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau announced that the tax may take effect as soon as June 25th. The increase to that tax, it applies to all kinds of investments above 250000 or gains, I should say, above 250000 Shiraz Ahmed is Senior Portfolio Manager at Sartorial Wealth, part of Raymond James. Thanks so much for joining me. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. And so part of your job, in addition to being a portfolio manager, I imagine is fielding all kinds of questions. Um, saying, what are we going to do uh, about this? Talk to me about what it's been like on the front lines of this. So on the front lines of it, it's been interesting. So there's a lot of questions coming in from investors all across the country on what do we do? What options do we have? This all kind of came about fairly quickly. So there's been a lot of pivoting, a lot of conversations being had, even as recently as an hour ago, I was on the phone with a client and a CPA trying to figure out what can we do to try to minimize the potential impact this might have. What can we do? So not a whole lot. Strat- yeah, I was just going to ask. There are some. So it depends on what specifically problem that you're trying to solve. Is it because of, let's say, a rental property that you might have? Well, there's limited things that you can do. Um, you know, again, a lot of it is, I know enough about tax to be dangerous, but I'm not a CPA, so don't give tax advice. But uh, you want to be mindful of, are there corporate structures you might want to look at? There's other things that you can do, like rollovers and whatnot, that may be an option for you. But the best thing to do is to check with a professional. What about leave the country? I, do you think? I mean, that that's something that people just vote with their with their feet and leave. Absolutely. So a big part of my practice as a cross-border wealth manager is the fact that I have a front line, uh, I guess, window to see how do both Canadians and Americans behave. And right now, there is a bit of a brain drain happening in Canada. And unfortunately, this specific policy is going to be affecting some of the more wealthy in Canada. And unfortunately, the wealthy do have options. And they're going to be starting to look at exercising which of those options are best for them. Some may be leaving the country. I was just going to ask, is it really that easy? Don't you have to pay like kind of an exit tax? And and it's a permanent life decision. You know, your children might be in the school. you got to find another country that speaks English or has the same sort of structure um, uh, of life and education. Absolutely. So there are different countries that people are looking at. And again, it's what's best for you and your family, of course. But that being said, there are different things that you can do. So there are visas that you can look at. Canada being, uh, you know, a, a very well-known country internationally is one that is universally accepted at most places. You just have to apply accordingly and see what's the most the best fit for you and your family. Are we going to see a rush of asset sales, do you think, before the date? Well, there's definitely people contemplating doing it. So there's a, a lot of math. It's basically a giant math problem. Like, does it make sense or not? You have to crunch the numbers. And that's what we've been doing from a lot of our clients. And, you know, there's a lot of, um, I guess, headline bait with this specific topic where it looks like it's much worse than it actually is in a lot of scenarios. So a lot of folks after crunching the numbers are realizing it's actually not going to make as big of an impact as they might think. Oh, tell me about that. Well, the net change, you know, so as a, the increase in the rate, but for the, your average highest marginal tax payer, let's say in Ontario, it's going to be a little around eight, eight and a half percent increase in what your total taxable amount will be. So if you have a big amount of gains, it could be serious dollar numbers. But in reality, from what we are right now, the the headline makes it seem as though it's two-thirds capital gains tax, which is not the case. It's the inclusion rate. It's the inclusion rate that is now taxed at whatever your your rate um, will be. Was that part of the confusion, like when you were taking the initial calls? Uh, Absolutely. So there's a lot of people unclear about it. And, you know, social media doesn't help a lot of things either, where people are getting their anecdotal information from not necessarily the most reputable sources. So that's one thing that I think people need to understand is the clarification. This is a change in the inclusion rate not in the actual tax amount.